Hello friends and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Today I will explain the basics of the Williams Alligator Indicator. That's a cool name, right? And before I get into it, just want to let you know if you need more help with trading or investing, or if you want to get some help putting together your own trading or investing plan because you really need to have a plan, otherwise you don't know what you're doing, uh, you can uh, contact me for coaching by email at davidmodell at gmail.com. And also below this video, uh, I'm going to put some free financial reports and I co-authored them the reports and uh, you can download one or as many as you like all right so let's uh, move on over to the Bill Williams alligator indicator invented by Bill Williams and I'm on tradingview.com and if you want to know how to get that uh, indicator on tradingview at least you go to uh, indicators and strategies don't look look under a for alligator no 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 <laughs> you look for W for Williams alligator okay uh, and then the default settings are the 5, the 8, and the 13, all right, uh, which is the, the lips, the teeth, and the jaw. Those are the colorful names uh, that Bill Williams gave to it, but it, you, know, you can call it the lips, teeth, and jaw. That's fine. Uh, if it helps you to remember it, I just think of it as the 5, 8, and 13 period moving averages because that's all it really is. They're just you know, giving it interesting names. Uh, okay. So, and a lot of it is just your basic moving average crossover stuff. Uh, you know how with moving average crossovers, you enter when the faster moving average crosses above the slower ones, and then you exit uh, when the faster moving average uh, crosses below the other two. You know, that, that's pretty normal stuff. This one is the same thing. It, it has some interesting, cute names. And, uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Let's see if this is something that you might be interested in. All right. Uh, and by the way, you can change the standard settings 5, 8, and 13 for the lips, teeth, and jaw if you want to. You, you can totally adjust these things, at least on trading view. All right. So supposedly the alligator is sleeping when all three of these, you know, the lips, teeth, and jaw, when they're all close to each other, when there's not much space between them, and you don't probably want to take a long or short position, according to the Bill Williams alligator indicator system. All right. So that's when the alligator is sleeping when all three lines are close to each other. Uh, then when the, the lips, you know, the, the five period moving average clearly breaks above or below the other two, uh, that's when the alligator is awakening. Okay, the alligator is waking up and you consider taking a long or short position. Long if the uh, moving average, uh, if the five period crosses, clearly crosses above the other two, that would be uh, bullish and you consider you start to look at possibly taking a long position if the uh, the five the green one uh, you know the lips uh, crosses below the other two uh, then you would start looking at possibly taking a short position all right and then uh, so that's when the alligator has gone from sleeping to waking up or awakening and then the alligator is eating uh, when the uh, the candle the candlestick is clearly uh, above all three lines Okay, that's if it's already bullish, according to the crossover. Uh, then you would actually take a long position. You would actually buy at that point. That's when the alligator is eating. Okay, or it, if the break was below, if it was bearish, then uh, the alligator is eating bearishly <laughs> uh, when the uh, candle next candlestick closes clearly below all three lines. That's after the, uh, the crossover to the downside. All right. Uh, and then you would stay in your position. You would, it's just normal, you know, moving average crossover stuff. Let, let's say it's bullish just, you know, for this example. So you'd stay in the position until, until it crosses back below. Okay. Uh, or you can get out when, when it's sleeping. It looks like it's almost sleeping here. They're pretty close together. All right. Uh, but for me, I would stay in, uh, just because, you know, I'm accustomed to staying in, riding it all the way up until, uh, you know, the faster moving average crosses below the other two. All right, uh, so you know that's pretty much it. Uh, it. It's kind of an interesting concept. You know, the idea of sleeping helps you to stay out when there's not much movement because yeah, it's hard to trade. Uh, you know, sideways choppy markets. It's easier to trade trending markets. Uh, so again, sleeping when all three moving averages are close together. Uh, the alligator is awakening when the green. You know, the lips. Uh, the five period moving average uh, crosses clearly below, you know, above in this case, or, you know, bullish or below for bearish. And that's when you consider looking at it for 
possibly a long or short position soon. Uh, and, that, and then that, that's when the alligator is uh, awakening and then the alligator is eating uh, when not only that happens, but also the, the next candle stick closes clearly above all three lines or below all three lines. And that's when the alligator is eating. And that's when you would take your long or short position and ride it all the way up or down uh, until it crosses back below. Pretty simple and kind of a neat idea. Uh, is it better than other triple moving average crossover systems? I, I don't know if it's better or worse. It's just kind of interesting and at least it'll keep you hopefully out of non-trending markets. All right. So I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, you know, this is not the whole system. This is just an introduction, but you could actually try using it this way. But if you do, uh, please be careful with your capital. Understand that no system works 100% of the time. This does not work all the time, okay? Uh, be ready to take some losses in any system. And please use small position sizes at all time. Protect yourself. Have your stop losses ready if you're using stop losses. And if you want more help, again, you can contact me for coaching. I do offer that. You can email me at davidmodell at gmail.com. Check out the free financial reports below this video in the text description. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Do that right now. Why not? And leave a comment. What do you think of this system? Is it, uh, you know, is, is it just a bunch of colorful names or is it a really cool system? What do you think? I want your opinion. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not do that right now? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, and hit that notification bell on YouTube so you can get updated whenever I put out new videos. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.